Uh, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I would like to discuss to share on how use how to use uh, the analog pins for STM32. So let us start by uh, opening the IOC for STM32. I'm using STM32L053 R86. So I'm using this one. Uh, click next. Name the project. I say the basic and uh, log. And then I click finish. So on my setup here, I'm using STM32 Nucleo. Uh, and on top of it, there is an Arduino multi-learning shield. So I'm going to use this uh, variable which is connected to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, PA4. Uh, later we will see the wiring for this uh, shield. So let's see the pin wiring for the analog which is on this one mistaken hic i know is our variable register is wired to pa0 so this one is wired to pa0 so the ioc i'm opening usart uh, synchronous mm -hmm. and the ioc enable the interrupt and then I'm going to open the analog ADC for IN0 I'm choosing this one because it is it says that it's wired to our PA0 here so this is the resolution that we are going to use 10 bit even though it can go to up, up until 12 bit uh, which is the maximum reading of 4095 we are going to use 10 bit which is the maximum value of 1023 so we are going to change this parameter accordingly so this one i've ticked in zero and then i'm going to choose resolution to 10 bit and the continuous conversion is enabled and i'm going to choose also the drop down menu here for the sampling time which is the maximum okay uh, clock configuration i'm going to change to 24 megahertz okay i think that is all okay uh there is a document for tutorial i've made here so here it says connectivity tick global adc tick i know this one i'm using three uh analog uh, but currently we are going to use only one analog uh, which is connected to in0 uh this one we have done already uh this one is done already generate and type accordingly so we're going to generate here generate the code and then we're going to simply copy and paste the program which i've shared here in the tutorial okay here let's make it bigger okay so in the tutorial i said that you need to type we just we can actually copy this one copy uh, in the begin so let's copy here copy and paste to begin include so begin include i'm going to copy here paste uh, okay uh, the next one is the variable that is going to be used okay i'm putting the buffer to here char tx to buff this one is ADC value 3 because this tutorial I'm reading a 3 ADC input. So I'm going to show you on how to read just one ADC input. So we simply copy here and paste on the PV. Here, paste it. Uh -huh. And then the loop. We are going to copy the loop here, which is this one copy up until here 
copy and paste in the while loop here okay i can just copy here paste shift tab no 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 tab let's this way here okay so we are reading directly eh? we are not using any timer so this one actually we are reading for one value so i'm going to delete this one because this one is an array to uh, save the values for the three input edc channel zero uh, i believe i don't have to put this one i'm going to delete it so we're going to have only two variables and then here uh we don't need this one okay oops uh -huh. we don't need this bracket so let's read here start and then we are reading put it here this is not an array this is just one variable and then we stop the reading and then we print it so this one is only adc underscore input zero we are not reading this so we can delete okay let's read this on the top on the top here we start string studio and then chart text to buff we are putting the message here and then we are reading and putting the variable here uh, we are starting the reading and then we read the adc value here print it on the ur i believe this is all uh, and then we can just upload the program okay run the program Okay, zero error, zero warning. We are going to upload it. Just click OK here. Uh, OK. Build finish, zero error, zero warning. Uh, it's downloading to my board. OK. So I'm opening my Terra term here to read the serial communication uh, set up serial port 150,200 so did it read anything here and this one is com1 huh? it shouldn't be com1 Disconnect and we try to connect it again. New connection. This one is COM6. I'm so sorry. Okay. So there we have it. The reading. Uh, it ranges around 80 to 82. So if I'm turning my potentiometer here clockwise it's increasing the value until let's see what the maximum value it can read okay i'm turning my potentiometer here the maximum value theoretically is 1023 1023 so it's still increasing there we have it the maximum value is 1023 and 1023 so if we turn it anti-clockwise counter-clockwise let's see the minimum value theoretically ideally it should be zero but sometimes the variable is not giving you a zero value sometimes give you maybe 10 let's see my variable here minimum is 15 okay minimum is 15 so now we are able to read the decimal value of 10 bit from the stm32 how about if we change this to floating number uh, whereby we can read we convert the decimal number to voltage number so there are some settings that we need to do before we are able to read the voltage uh, which is a floating number so 
first of all, eh, let's me let me check my notes here. We need to change it to float. So let's put here local variable. Let's put here local variable name as float uh, voltage, which is equal to let's force F L O A T force the variable of ADC val here. We force it to be a floating number. Then we times 3.3 .3 because this one is 3.3 .3 voltage maximum. And then we divide by 1023 semicolon. Okay. Uh, so after that, uh, let me let me put here the, that's the same. Make it as a habit to sort your program accordingly because it will help you in the future. Okay. Now we have read the ADC value and we change it to float uh, voltage as a floating number and then we can transfer it to here. Let's say we are reading as uh, voltage VOLT uh, is equal to uh, 0.2F v as voltage so this one is floating number and then we oh we forgot to put a percentage here and then we make it as a comma here and read the voltage v o l t uh is there a problem the floating format is support is not enabled uh see this is the problem uh because we are using a floating number which is not supported it is not enabled we just need to enable this one so if you read this sentence here it says that you go to tool setting add manually uh, dash u underscore printf underscore float so what we are going to do we are we're going to follow it eh? it says here is to go to properties c plus plus build setting properties here if i'm not okay project properties and then we are going to open here C, C++ build settings. What we are doing here right now is that we want to, to show the floating, we want to show the floating number uh, for a voltage. So we go to miscellaneous here, add. Uh, so the message is, what is the message again? I didn't, if I'm not mistaken, eh, I've written here, I've written here. So it is dash u space underscore print f and then underscore again float f l o a t okay and then we click apply and close we just click here apply apply and close and then the the warning is not there anymore we will upload the program here zero error one warning what is the warning actually point two directive writing writing between three and 313 bytes into region size oh it's nothing i believe this one yes this one is the same Oh, I put the floating number down. It should be you read it first and then you convert it. Okay, so control X. Let's put this one up here. And then we, after reading, then we convert. Previously, we convert it first and then we read. That is not the same if I'm not mistaken. So we try to check out the output here. Download in progress. So this one is the correct way of reading the voltage. Uh, if I'm turning the potentiometer, let's say around this value, let's say here should be around. Let's choose this one. Uh, 450. 450. We've calculated it manually. Eh? C A L C enter. 
if the reading is 450 divided by 1023 and times 3.3, 3, 1.45. Uh, this is within the range, uh, within the range. So I believe that is all for analog. If you want to read the multiple channels for analog, uh, you can use this tutorial as it is. You don't need to change anything. So that is all. Thank you.